3 go. Wait, sa. Oh my god, I'm ready to check. 1, 2, 3, go. Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. So, the first layer of our cake, our base, is actually in the oven now. So, it's being preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's going to sit in there for about 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> back to my youtube channel so today we're gonna do another baking session so for today's vlog we're gonna do carrot cake and yeah. this recipe is from me myself and i <laughs> Gemma to me myself and i so this is actually from Ati B. so what you need to do we over we're gonna prepare featuring on the one okay so today we're gonna prepare the ingredients of course so um, you can either use a canola oil or corn oil, but available now there is canola. So it's very so one cup of canola. I'm gonna come with one cup. Three. 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 I'm gonna come with one cup. Okay, again, a cup of canola oil. There you go. And then next is three whole eggs. Do we have that? Do we have that? That's three whole eggs all in one face. <laughs> so the difference between baking is that the measurements are really exact. Yes. Right. And really... behind the camera is the one and only the voice. Yes, that's me. Hello. Okay, so exact measurements, you can't really go wrong with the measurements or else the recipe will, will become a total mess. True. Okay, so what we need doing right now is we're adding three um, whole, eggs. whole eggs. Are we going to whip it? Or? Of course, later. Okay. later yes. So um, we're just going to mix all the ingredients first. Now next is uh, two cups of carrots. So. But this is grated carrots. We grated this one earlier. Uh, you just need two cups. And wine. I'm gonna fill that up in there. Okay. And okay, okay. Um, this is actually healthy. What's the quad BTL? Say mga nutritional benefits. I don't really know. Uh, from someone whose diet is actually dependent on fast food. Yes. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna need a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. There we go. So all ingredients are actually coming and derived from India. So they were sourced out of India. <laughs> all of the ingredients. Spices. <laughs> So we're gonna add up now our sugar. So how many cups of sugar are we adding? For the meantime, let's have a quick tea break. There you go. So we're just gonna add up, um, fill in yes, a cup, a cup of, of brown sugar in there. So we're right now we're at we're opening up our low fat milk. One big cup of low fat milk. So this um, for today's recipe we're using Selecta 45 low fat milk. This is not sponsored by the way but if Selecta would like to sponsor then it would be willing to reconsider. Adding one third cup of the low fat milk. So, so very important that you shake the um, the what? Just to eliminate anything there that actually has coagulated. There you go. So you need just half cup of not one third. One third. Cup. Cup. What does it mean? Bring to the brim. To the brim, ladies and gentlemen. It's the idiom for the day. One third, Nani. And one third, Nani. God, I, I'm Next. doubting the credibility of this cook. Just, just trust the process. Um, not okay. the 
person. Next is, so again, one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Next is one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Sonic, what's the difference between baking soda and baking powder? Um, the we? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't we using just one of the two? Um, they're pretty much the same. They're for baking, but the other one is soda and the other one is powder. <laughs> okay, that was helpful. <laughs> okay. So our sponsors, by the way, today is from Marco Leone or canola oil is actually we're using Marco Leone for our uh, flour. Is we're using Ram. Back at and Palma Next is this is half. Thank you. I'm going to take a Dexterity issues. So, half teaspoon of iodized salt. In here. Next is. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Use cinnamon. Cinnamon kalang. Cinnamon talamo yung kahina an ko. Chong is helping us today in today's Ay. baking session. Get putting up na ko. Okay. Okay guys, so we'll add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and then half cup of crushed pineapples. This one. Next is half cup of crushed walnut. So the walnuts are actually derived from Turkey as well. <laughs> so this just came in yesterday. From Tur Shopee. Shopee. <laughs> Brought to you by Shopee. Um, we need is that an all-purpose flour. Yeah, two cups of all-purpose flour. So you can use this flour for any purpose. This, <laughs> it's all-purpose. Maga chef at talaga ni alam yan. So we're adding two cups. I know. Next is we're gonna mix, mix, mix this one. This is the part where I ate it the most. So we're just now gonna whisk it. So what's the direction in terms? Is there any like guidelines on how to whisk the ingredients together? Whisk this in one stroke for the char. Okay. Don't you have a machine that can do it? Um, I am a machine. <laughs> Pinakasargo, dyan niya siyang apart, guys. Oh my god, kahumot siya. So, look at as all the ingredients are actually combined together. And it's starting to really smell the cinnamon in the scent. So, very important that we really whisk everything very evenly. Struggle, dyan niya siya, guys. Chef Mickey is struggling to whisk all the ingredients together. And by the way, you need to preheat your oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so while mixing, and also you need to put oil um, in your pan para delicious mag stick ang mixture. Later, kung mag bake na siya. Okay? Copy? This is all the ingredients we have, or is this. We're gonna make another round of it. We're gonna make another round. So, how many layers of, are we doing today? Um, two layers. So this then is we'll, the first layer. Yes. And we're gonna add um, buttercream later for the filling. Um, I'm not sure if it's siyang na filling. But ang menu, but filling. Pretty. Try to laugh, please, when you get to this part. <laughs> okay. Is it 
it really hard? Yeah, super. Can I try? Yeah. since we don't have a, what do you call that machine that actually does the whisking. Um, so we're gonna do the traditional way of whisking it. So we're just gonna do it this way. Right, as you can see, um, the color now is starting to get a little bit, um, what's it called? Itchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna So very important that you um, just, you know, whisk it in a counterclockwise direction. Yeah. In one out. direction. So one way. Regardless of which direction, basta. So if it's smooth in section, so just, just whisk it more. Again, you don't want to have a lot of ingredients just you know piling up in one section of the cake. So it's really important that you mix whisk it well so that all the ingredients are distributed evenly. And I think this is good now. This chef of Ruby by So one way to check if it's. Check the consistency if it's okay now. Okay everyone, so the first layer of our cake, our base, is actually in the oven now. So it's been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that's going to sit in there for about 30 to 40 minutes. So very important, just a tip, just you know, do not open the oven every now and then because it's going to affect know the baking process so just really wait until we get to the 40 minute mark before you start checking okay so that's one base and the oven already so we're gonna make another just repeat the process we did earlier and we're gonna make another layer of the cake is that correct Nikki? yes okay so what's next <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do now <laughs> next the set okay. 